ponytail that can prevent something like this would be the tale of Heart Swarming Eve. This story demonstrates how the ponies were racist too, but their racist ways led the summoning of the mythical creatures called the Windigos. What up, fellow troopers? This is Tutube, and I just. Yes, I, I know me too is there. Yes, thank you for showing him. Um, I'd just like to give you a quick update on what's been going on since the following clip is just me walking. I'm pretty sure none of you are gonna want that without any sort of audio or something. So here I am. Um, first thing that I'd like to address is, well, in case you haven't seen my most recent singing video, the link to it is in the description. You will have known that I have m now graduated from the Performing Arts Department, which is a very big step for me, or, well, <laughs> in my life. <laughs> They've been the best three years of my life, to be fair, and I'm never going to forget the moments that I have made. Um, but I have also started a brand new course at the same college, Yes, get on the curb. I'm. I'm. We're. We're not gonna be roadkill today. <laughs> yeah. Get. Getting back to business. I have now started a brand new course. This one is called the Art Design and Media course, which is really, really exciting. Um. So, this. I'm just gonna show you something that I did during the first day. Believe me, I, I know it's a bit of a rough drawing, but I'm hoping that it's not going to be the first. Yes, yes, that is where the training centre is. Yes, well done. <laughs> um, in case you are wondering, really? What, why are you looking at... What is that? Um, okay, I, I believe that is new. <laughs> anyway, now that we're not no longer distracted... I'm just going to tell you a bit about who this character might be. Well, first of all, I'd like to... Is that, is that another cup? Yes, there is. Getting back on the cup. I, I am actually so glad that there were no thorns or nettles around there. Because <laughs> that would have been painful. Anyway, so during lockdown, I started a brand new story, script kind of thing. Wait, is that a rocket? Are you, are you kidding me? Is, is that a rocket? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, so I started a new story during lockdown. This one is called Guardian of the Bees and it's based on a, well, actually, correction there, it's about a young Faluco who's basically trying to find her purpose in life. Also, that UPS driver was going f a bit fast down that, down that road. Um, so this young Faluco was rejected from her family because of the skin condition, which is really quite sad when I think about it. But I'd also like to announce that this story is not going to be related to my Faluco series, that being Adopted, Adopted 2, and the Forgotten Hazel and Rivers story, which I'm hoping to get started at some point while I'm on this new course, because to be honest, it's been quite difficult to turn it down, because I've already written the script, I wasn't able to find that many voice actors and if you were interested I'm so sorry but when this course starts to get started hopefully I can be able to start to revive the series because that's something that I've really wanted to do 
if you're wondering what I'm actually talking about, Hazel and River's story is meant to take place between Adopted and Adopted 2. So it's kind of an in-between story. Um, I'm not going to mention any more about it. Um, before I get on to the next part, I'd just like to announce that I new have a new Twitter profile. That being... What, what are you doing? <laughs> that being at Very New Bunny. So I've started posting a couple of things on there. That being this stone, which I painted. Yes. Yes, I know. What What are you doing? <laughs> I, I, I keep getting distracted during during this recording. Um. So, this the charity itself. That is that is a really really nice sign. I I commend you. Like that. Oh oh wow. The the redecorating is done. <laughs> this, this this is wow. They they've got an upstairs area now. Oh my goodness, and they've actually got a lift. That that is impressive. I approve. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, getting back to what I was saying, the Ability Dogs for Young People were really struggling during COVID. Like, all their shops had to be closed, their fundraising events had to be cancelled, the training got delayed, and so did the matching process. So, they've been really struggling, and I've really, I really wanted to do something to show that I appreciate what they do. And I'm really glad to say that they really love the stone. However, I am glad to say that things are starting to look positive now. The session that I went to was great fun. I got to do lots of activities with the dogs. So we were working outside this time, as you can see by the picture. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to record any footage because I get too distracted from working with the dogs. <laughs> so, please forgive me. I really hope to be better. <laughs> so, anyway, I believe that should do it for this episode. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. I know I don't get videos out that often, but I really do try my hardest. Thanks for watching, till then, shoot him out.